Every time you throw a piece of food into the trash, it decomposes at a landfill and releases harmful methane gas into the atmosphere. But when you throw food into a compost bin, it uses oxygen to naturally decay and contributes less waste to the world's rapidly growing landfills. Compost is a natural fertilizer made from organic materials like food scraps, fallen leaves, and lawn clippings that extends the life of local landfills and improves soil quality and plant growth. Jack Morris serves as co-chair for the Nebraska Extension's Master Gardener Committee. In retirement, he spends time teaching the Nebraska community about the benefits and ease of making compost and prepares his own batches at home. It's not rocket science. It's really pretty easy. Uh, it's just all that plant material that's sitting out there now, that's under snow, uh, and you mix it up, add some water, and let it rot. Morris says anyone can create a compost bin at home with materials already on hand. And basically all you need to do is mix it up in a way uh, that you encourage microbial growth. Katie Reed of Bellevue is another composter who tosses food scraps into a container in her kitchen for use in her outdoor bins. When that gets full, I have two larger composters in the backyard that I, I fill regularly with whatever food scraps we generate. Compost requires a balance of carbon from tree leaves or garden waste and nitrogen from grass clippings or food scraps. Then you mix in some soil and water to get the decomposition process started. The key now is if you've done it right, in about a week it'll heat to 140 degrees. Once it starts to cool down, maybe after 10 days or two weeks, that's when you turn it again. Turning, or mixing, ensures that the ingredients have proper amounts of water and oxygen as they decompose. After turning the pile about five times over the course of weeks, the compost should be ready for use in the garden. You can even add worms for a more nutrient-dense vermi compost, all within the comfort of your home for the betterment of the soil and the planet. It is recycling at its finest. I mean, it's, it's, it's part of the cycle, of circle of life in general, is, you know, things are built up and then they break that down and then they're reorganized and create new things. Reporting for Nebraska News Service, I'm Ann Gallagher.